I'm Glenn Woods and I'm here at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. I'm one of the many uh, clay instructors that you'll find here. We specialize in throwing, hand building, and then the combination of all the, the above. Um, I'm gonna do a demonstration today for the beginners. Um, I teach intermediate and advanced, but you have to start out somewhere. So I just wanted to show you briefly, uh, this is kind of a collection of tools that I have that I've collected over the years. But if you show up for a beginning class, you might wanna stop in first when you sign up and uh, purchase one of these beginning toolkits. Uh, that'll make your life a lot easier and it's very convenient that it's here all in one place. So once you have your tools, uh, you can buy some clay and you can get that here as well. Uh, I've prepared a couple of balls of clay for today. Um, so there is a little bit of preparation that should go in before you uh, sit down at the wheel. This is uh, for beginners, so I'm just gonna explain. This is uh, something we call a bat. This makes it easy to take the piece off once you've made it. And the process of making a piece of pottery on the wheel is called throwing. So you might hear me say throwing this or throwing that. The first thing you do is you wanna secure the ball of clay onto the wheel head and you just throw that down really hard. And I have a bucket of water here. I'm gonna get water on my hands. And this first part is called centering. And I use this part of my hand to push the clay towards the center. And this part of my hand, kind of like a karate chop, to push the clay down. So I anchor my elbows into my legs and I just very gently lean into it and apply more pressure until it becomes centered. And the water is the lubricant you use to make that possible. So once it starts dragging or gets really sticky, I just add a little more water and you push with both hands, you might see it getting a little bit taller and a little bit shorter. And that's just by alternating where the pressure is from. And I do that just to bring that clay into center. So it sounds like a pretty simple task, but centering is not only one of the more difficult parts of throwing, but it's the most important thing. If you don't properly center your clay, every step you do after that is, is gonna be thrown off. So what you're looking for is a nice center ball of clay with no movement from the very bottom all the way to the top. Once it's centered, you have to make it hollow. So I'm gonna switch my hand position to here. Some people open with their thumbs, some people drill down with one finger. I actually use my right hand supported by my left hand, and I'm just gonna take my fingertip right towards the center, but not dead center. I'm gonna push down until I feel like I've got about a half an inch of clay left in the bottom, and that's, that's gonna be important later when I'm finishing the piece. So once I've gone as deep as I think I should go, I use a little needle tool, and I'm gonna pierce this into the bottom, slide my finger down until it hits the clay, and then I'll pull it out, and that tells me how thick the bottom of this piece is. And it's about half an inch, and that's perfect. So now I can make the floor. So first we did centering, we did the opening. Now the next step is making the floor. I'm just gonna put my hands in the same position and pull that back towards my belly button, or my center. And you wanna do it very slowly until you get about a three inch opening. Okay, so the floor is about that wide right now. So the process of pulling this out creates a little bit of tension. So I wanna relieve that tension by putting my hands into the same position. And just with my fingertip, I'm gonna push clay back to the center and that, that does two things. It smooths the bottom and also relieves that tension I was just talking about. And the reason you wanna get rid of the tension is if you don't, not always, but sometimes, you'll get what we call an s -crack. And that happens as the piece is drying, or it might happen during the firing as well. All right, so now we've done the centering, we did the opening, we floored it and smoothed the bottom, and got rid of that, that's called compressing the bottom. Now I wanna make it taller and thinner. And for beginners, I, every, every piece really comes from a cylinder. So we wanna make a cylinder first, but for beginners, we're gonna make a bowl. So we're gonna make a very low uh, bowl 
and we don't really want a nice square corner on the inside. So first step is I'm just gonna put my hand on the inside and I have my thumb out here. I'm gonna connect, I use a sponge because this gives me a continuous supply of water, which remember is our lubricant, keeps our hands from sticking. Um, and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of pressure from the outside. The inside hand is just gonna be there for a surface to push up against. You don't want to push too hard with the inside hand because you'll make the clay too thin. And you don't want your outside hand to push the clay in because it's just going to redistribute the clay instead of making it taller. It's just going to push the clay around. So pretend this is a solid wall and I'm pushing up against that solid wall and I'm moving that up together. So first I push at the bottom and you'll see there's a little indentation there. And then I'm just going to push that up against the inside hand and that creates our first little cylinder. And remember, this is a bowl, so now the second pole, I'm still gonna make an indentation at the bottom because I wanna pull all the clay that hides here at the bottom up into the wall. And I'm gonna just do that, but I'm gonna let it flare this time, which means I'm allowing the inside hand to push a little bit more than it did last time. Now this is, this next step is, I think it's kind of the magic of making pottery. Um, I'm gonna use a little rib. This one is a bowl rib and I want the inside of my bowl to be this shape. So I use this rib. I'm just gonna start at the very top. I'm just gonna push that out and then I'm gonna push that until it meets the bottom. Okay, so that's as easy as it is, you know, to turn a nice cylinder into a bowl. Now I have another rib here. Um, if you want a bowl, this is like a rice bowl, or a lot of rice. Um, but if I wanted a rim on this bowl, I'm just gonna put a little water, water on the surface. And I'm gonna take this rib and just support this from the outside. And then I'm just gonna rock this out with this rib. I'll do a little better than that. And that just creates that little rim on there for you. So you can see it's really not that complicated. It's uh, really related to mastering the basics and then using a variety of tools, which the most important tools are right here. But you can use these tools to kind of speed things up a little bit And uh, one of the things I like to do, it's not always recommended on utilitarian purposes or pieces, but I like to put the potter's mark on the piece. So I'm gonna put a little throwing spiral in here so that when a person looks at this, they can see that a potter's hand had something to do with making this bowl. Okay, so that's it.